Hi, this is Harvey at Figaholics. Today we're going to do a whip and tongue graft on a fig. We've done some other grafting demos. Um, in other demos I showed how I cut the top and then I scored it to bleed some of the latex sap. It still bleeds for quite a while afterwards, so I've done that already earlier. Still, I'm going to take a fresh cut. And here I have a cyan, a cutting of Galicia Negra, a really a very popular fig. Um, I could root this. Uh, rooting of Galicia Negra is somewhat difficult, um, plus it's a valuable cutting. As I explained in the um, grafting considerations video, some of the reasons for grafting is to make greater use of um, valuable cuttings. So I'm going to use just a little portion of this. There's a bud here and a bud up here. Um, hopefully both will grow. I'm going to make a clean cutting on the bottom. This cutting has been in refrigeration for three months, but it's still fresh. Now a whip is just an angled cut, um, and you'll see the tongue portion of it. Now, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, I look at this bud, I want this bud to be growing, so I'm not going to be cutting that off. I'm going to be cutting on the back side of it. One thing when working with small pieces like that, it's a little bit less to hold on to, it's a little bit more difficult. And I'm using my Tina grafting knife. My friend Herschel mentioned that um, he had a Tina grafting knife before and um, it wasn't a fixed blade. He didn't like it because it was a, um, a pivoting blade. Uh, I've never had a Tina knife like that. This is obviously a fixed blade. It's safe. I don't need to worry about it moving. Um, I don't want to cut any further because um, I don't have much room there with that. So that's enough. Now I'm going to make the tongue. And this is just like a barb to help hold the sign and wedge it out some just to help the sign stay in place. Now I'm going to try to find an area where the diameter is about the same. I'm going to cut a little bit lower. Now here, if I cut too much, I might find that my diameter is too much, so I'm going to just cut a little bit at a time. I might have even gotten a little bit too much there. Now I can go a little bit more. As I mentioned in the grafting considerations video there, I can do this maybe from 80% to 100% of the same diameter. And that very variation is based on how much I cut into the root stock. If my rootstock is fatter than my scion, then I just don't cut to the middle. Here I picked an area where it was about the same. Again, this is just to help the scion hold into place. Now before I put the scion in place, I wrap it because I want it to be stationary. I don't want to be wiggling it around wrapping it after it's already in place. This is like Parafilm. It's um, a different brand that's no longer available um, but serves the same purpose. So now we're placing the sign and that tongue again just helps it hook on so you know, I can let go and hold. Now, one thing, they're not um, always the same thickness all the way, so I try to match both sides somewhat. If it doesn't match, 
perfectly. One side can still grow and catch up to the other, I found. Not always, but one thing, it, it looks like it'll match here, but not up here. But on this side, it is matched all the way up. If we have long straight scions, um, it makes it a lot easier, but I'm working with material that I have and trying to make the best of what I have. Oh, I moved it out of the way. Push it down a little bit harder. Again, working with a small area again. Try not to cover the bud with rubber band. Just double check again. I try to get it perfect, but that's not really necessary. Um, in fact, maybe 25 years ago when I was first graphing, I was having um, a high failure rate and one guy told me that maybe I was trying to match it too perfectly and in fact I was um, off slightly the entire way. So he suggested I intentionally make it crooked. I did that some. I don't usually try to do that, but as long as you get some areas to match, it's going to grow. So again, here in this area, it's not going to line up, but here it, it is lined up, and here on this side, it's lined up most of the way. Now I use the parafilm, Nesco film, again, to wrap over the union. This film, again, we stretch it as we apply it and make it thinner so the bud can push through. I'm hoping that this bud here grows. This here at the top on the other side is just an insurance bud. So you can't see through the film too well, but you can see, um, ideally, you'd have a whipping tongue and it um, would come up completely, so it'd be one flat stick. But again, I'm, I didn't have that much room below this bud to do that, so I, I did that. So we'll graft, or we'll put this grafted um, sign in my greenhouse now. I'm going to keep it watered. Um, it's not going to use too much water because nothing's growing yet. But hopefully in a week we'll see some growth out of one or both buds. Thanks again for watching.